Welcome back everyone, and this is a, another bag review. Now you might have remembered the other time, I did a review of this Manfrotto advanced bag. And I was pretty impressed with it, I've got to be honest. It did the job perfectly, it, yeah, it filled a need that I had, that I'd not tried before, and that was having the flip open. Now, the one thing that really struck me with this bag was how comfortable it was to carry. Over all my other bags, it was the most comfortable bag to carry, and that, actually meant quite a lot, but it didn't quite fill all my needs. Which bag ever does? So, I went and got this one, which is the Pro Light Backloader. Um, and my main gripe with the other bag was it was great for work when I was going stuff where it was just for work, that's brilliant. But if I'm traveling or if I'm out in the town or anything else, I don't like the fact that the front zips open and I've got no way of closing it up. I want to feel secure. So that's why I went for one that has a back load and actually is a little bit taller than the last one. As you can see there, a little bit taller, not much. Um, travel safe. You hear my chair squeaking, sorry. Travel safe. Um, it's got a top pocket which is separate, so we'll have a look at that as well. And yeah, so at the front we've got, let's put that there. We've got a compartment there, it's got a few bits and pieces in, it goes right to the bottom down, literally to the bottom there, which is nice. And it's just a quick access pocket. Those little bits on the front there are just plastic strips to protect the bag from when you flip it over to turn on stuff. You've got a couple of little attach points there. Haven't used those yet, might do, I don't know. So you can put the rain cover or anything else onto that. We have got a decent water pocket that side and we've got one that side as well. But you can also use them as tripods and we've got a little strap that side to keep it in and we've got that one on that side as well. Um, bottom, same as the other, lovely padded bottom, and it does, padded bottom, really? And it does stand up, which is really, really nice. We've got a top compartment here that gets me into, in fact, you can't see that there probably because the light's not on it. We've got a compartment there, which is nice, and you can flip this over at the top here and just leave that back because it makes it easier to get in so you haven't got the zip catching your hands all the time. Let's just zip that over. Um, but the beauty is this back load a bit here. Nice mesh, nice strap, really good. But hey, the one thing that was on the other one that I didn't really notice, that I noticed on this one, and this is the waist strap that goes across. And it's on a, like a little rail. And it slides up and down. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Really nice the way that works. Didn't notice that on the last one. I only just really noticed it. So here we go. We've got laptop pocket into there, which can fit a 15 inch laptop, I think it is, 16. Probably fit the Mac. Um, battery or whatever compartments, but they're not zipped, so they're easy access. Zip pocket there, into that, which is brilliant. Then we've got this whole bit here, which we can configure. We don't have to have this here. We could have it all laid out, so I've got all the bits. I've got spare pads over there at the moment because I haven't had it full. I like to have this top bit so that I can carry bits that I just want to grab straight away, which is nice. Then I've got it all laid out. So I've got a camera into there, I've got a camera in the top in there as well, because that's my one that I'm gonna use most of the time. But my little vlogging camera can go into there. Spare lenses, etc. 
rain covers into that bit there. And it's just nice and that's 70 to 200 into there as well. Now I've got FTZ as the actor on the end of that as well. Um, so I don't have to do anything when I'm out and about. And yeah, it's just a really nice bag. But this is the other thing, when I'm traveling with it, we have uh, somewhere, we have here, we have a little TSA approved lock, combination lock that's strapped in. So it's all fixed into there as well, that I can just put the loops of all of these through and just know that my gear is safe. So if we bring these ones around here as well, we can put both of those in. There you go. And you're not really gonna get it far enough to get anything through there or to see anything, um, which is quite nice. Obviously you can drop that, but you're not gonna get it enough to get a camera out, which is brilliant. So the one thing that I wish this had actually got, which I've only just started recently utilizing on one of my other bags, and that is some external straps besides the ones at the side, which are designed for keeping your tripods in place. Oh, sorry, we've got a luggage carry handle there as well, so it can go over your luggage and in, which is nice. And we have got a little strap point there as well. And we've got one that side. But I wish I was able to do a front webbing strap, a cross strap there, because lately I've been traveling and we've had some really nice weather which is great, but we've also had a bit of rain. So I've took a rain coat with me. And when I've not been using it, I've webbed it to the front of my bag. I haven't wanted to put it in because I don't want to take up the room and it's nice and light. I don't really, I've got both pockets either full on this. I've got a water bottle into there and I've got the um, tripod in that side. I've got nothing at the bottom. I'm missing somewhere. I'm missing some webbings here. And I'd love to see the webbings have give me the option of having it into there. Now Peak Design do this really, really well. I don't know if they do it on the new bags the same, but the old ones had them just stuffed in a little magnetic pocket at the bottom there. They were permanently attached at the bottom, which now I think they're removable on the V2. And you just straight across into there, and I've got cross webbing, and I've just put my jacket into that. No. I can't believe how much I've only just started using that considering I've had that bag for years and I've just started it and I started using it on the V2 one as well. So this one started it, but these are detachable, but they're hidden away. They thought about the design. This Manfrotto bag is almost there for me onto that. It's not the most stylish. I wouldn't use it as a street photography bag because um, everyone's going to know you've got a camera in it. Um, but I will use it as a work bag. I will travel with it where it's going to come with me through airports and stuff. And there's certain other locations that I would travel with this bag quite happily. But it's nice to know that it would just be locked when you're not using it. So, yes, this is my new sort of travel daily driver bag because I think it's fantastic. Um, and it really is really is a good bag. There's just, there's never the perfect bag, is there? Never. Um, I hope this gives you an insight into this bag because I was um in an R in about this for so, so long. Um, I really was until it was on special, I think, on Amazon. And then I went and got it and took the chance. And I would never have bought this if I hadn't have had the other bag, I've got to be honest. The other bag led me to that is because of the comfy factor, the way they've done everything, and this is just as comfy. I've took this out, I've used it, I've hiked it fully with all that 70 to 200 in there. I've had the D850 in there as well. I've had a vlogging camera in there. I've had a tripod in the side. Not the biggest tripod, admittedly. I've had that little Rolio. Should be a link here to the Rolio review that I did, which is fantastic, by the way. 
um, still using that as a daily driver for the hobby side of stuff. Um, yeah, I think it's worth the money and it's one of the best bags that is worth the money, which is unusual for me to say that um, because I'm normally really picky. But yes, I love that. So there you go, it's a thumbs up from me. Hope you enjoyed that. Like and subscribe if you did. It'd be great to see you here again. Um, thanks for switching in. Good.